Okay guys, let's see in this short video how we can improve our image building process using a technique called direct image copy. Let's suppose that uh, we are making changes into our one build and it involves a lot of libraries, but in the end we just produce one executable file that we need to put inside of a Docker. So how can we speed up this process? The technique is quite simple. We create one Docker file and we grab the previous image that we have and then we just copy from the local uh, computer the updated file into a directory inside of the container. And that's the whole magic. Actually, we'll be uh, creating one new image with the updated file. When we have this Docker file, we can just use the command docker build and we can tag uh, with a new name the newly created image using the current context. And here's some little demo. Uh, so we have uh, this piece of code here where we are running uh, just one CL on hello. Now imagine that it might be a very big program requiring a lot of compilation beforehand. And what you just need to do is just to compile this program and push it into a container. Now I've created one Docker file. We are grabbing uh, from the GCC the latest image version and then we're copying our C++ file inside of the container inside of this uh, provided user specific folder and then our folder of the application then we're changing to this directory and we are compiling the application into an executable of my app then we are running the application now I'm using Podman desktop and if I go to containers and click on create container and then I'll click on the container file or docker file and I'll choose my uh, docker file here. Let's say the image will be my custom image and I click on build. We'll see that uh, first it downloads the latest image, copies the files and then compiles the program and runs it as well as we have a newly created my custom image. Now if I want to go to the images I see it here created and actually I can run the image of course it will exit immediately I can click let's say on start container if we go to the locks we'll see that uh, we are running uh, hello here uh, actually the container runs uh, quite correctly okay let's uh, make some changes to our application file my app and then in a WSL terminal I'll just run compilation because here I'm under Windows and I would like to produce Linux executable uh, so I'll just compile the new version into my app so if I go and see it should be uh, here this one all right uh, so we have it here and uh, now uh, we have our docker file this is the original one and we'll create one new okay now we have uh, this custom image here and we can grab its id here and uh, use it as a base image and then from it we'll copy our newly created application inside of the container and we'll make it executable so let's change the text to hello new app and let's uh, recompile the application with G++ and then we'll start it. So this is the new content we would like to have. So, and this is our Docker file right now. Using Docker desktop, we'll go to images and then build image and we'll use this Docker file. All right. And let's say my custom image new and we'll click on build okay it's successfully built basically now we would like to run uh, this image so we'll click on start container and this is our newly created container and inside we see hello new app and uh, that's basically how we managed to replace an application without uh, uh, going through all the compilation on the site of the docker and uh, downloading for example base images operating systems etc uh, etc et okay i hope this saves you a lot of time for me personally sometimes this is between 15 and 20 minutes 
enough intensive uh, image creation. So if you have time, go ahead and try the information. You enjoy the performance benefits. Thank you and please subscribe to the channel.